Hello everybody and welcome to the Wii Video tutorial series. With these videos, we're hoping to produce a comprehensive look into this powerful video editing software available to you through your D300 login credentials. Let's log in. Head to Google and search for Wii Video, W-E-V-I-D-E-O. Select their site and you're ready to roll. Look for the option to log in through Google. You'll be using your District 300 issued email address to validate your account. And there we have it. You've authorized your account and you're primed and ready to begin creating. If you're looking to get serious, feel free to add WeVideo to your bookmarks bar. You may find that this software can become a lifeline to your classroom routine, so it'll help to keep it at a click's distance. Let's talk about books and bookshelves. A little retro, considering this is a video about a web-based video editor, but bear with me. Take a look at your projects. Those are your bookshelves. They're structures that'll house your individual works, or your books. You can use projects to categorize your videos, just like you could organize your books on a bookshelf. One shelf could be for horror, one for romance, one for comedy, and one for nonfiction. Likewise, in the realm of education, let's say I want to structure one of my projects, or bookshelves, for one of the classes that I teach. Let's say English 12. I'll type in any necessary information into the description box, and I'm ready to start adding books. Books, therefore, are the individual videos that you add to your book shelves. Each book could be a particular lesson, agenda video, or general project space designated for that class only. That's why we call it a bookshelf. It keeps your work organized in a fashion of your choosing. So let's say I want to make a video about Shakespearean language, something we're covering in English 12. After naming my video, I'm ready to get to work. We'll talk about the editing process in future videos, but let's take a look at our dashboard to see our work. The dashboard will present your most recent work. Remember the difference between your bookshelves, or projects, and your books, videos. If we head on over to projects, or our main bookshelf so far, we can see that we've got senior English waiting for us. To drive this point home, let's make another project, or a bookshelf. Let's say I'm also a track coach, and I want to create a track promo video for my athletes. I'll head over to the bottom right-hand corner and press Create New Project. Let's title it Track Promo. And for the description, let's just say it is bookshelf number two. We'll discuss the difference between these project types later, but for now, click Personal. And there we have it. We've got a project created, a brand new bookshelf. It's empty, so let's add a book or a video. I'll be able to use this project to log all of the track promo videos that I'll create over all of my years as a coach. So this one, this video, will just be named Track Promo 2021. And once again, we are all set. Let's do a quick review. Head back to your dashboard and take a look at the two videos that you have queued up because they were your most recent works that you had open. But if we head over to projects, we'll be able to examine our bookshelves, English 12 and the track promo. By clicking English 12, you'll see that Shakespearean language video we created. And then within track promo, you'll see track promo 2021. We're all logged in and ready to start creating. Check out our next video as we talk about the interface overview so that you can master all of the tools in WeVideo.